this is my part two follow-up of my storage array build. Um, got it going now. Had to do some changes. Found out that the eject button on my little front drive storage thing was hitting on the front door, so I couldn't use that. Apparently, the Intel 80 gig solid state drive I was using was not compatible with the operating system. Don't know why. Never seen such a thing, but I had to uh, switch solid state drives to the boot drive. Um, the initial issue I was having with power cycling had to do with the RAID controller, different RAID controller. But on the RAID controller, there's pins B5 and B6, which are on the heatsink side of the card. And you just count 6 in from the left side, or well, 5 and 6 in from the left side. You have to cover those with a piece of tape so they don't um, make contact with the contacts in the motherboard. Those, uh, if I remember correctly, had something to do with SM bus, which would cause the system not to boot. I'll put some links to some documentation I read that explained that. I did end up putting my H310 RAID controller into IT mode, like a lot of the forum posts were saying to do. Whether it was necessary or not, Honestly, don't know. Um, TrueNAS seemed to just take it. I had recognized all the drives. They're not rated, so I was able to build a pool using, um, I believe, ZF2. So I have two drives worth of redundancy. I ended up adding a uh, additional dual port gigabit network card. Probably won't be necessary. It's not my plan to hit this thing real hard. Is probably going to be off most of the time. It's just going to end up being cold storage for my two servers. It's not enough storage to back everything up, so it's going to be like basically just important stuff. Um, if I had a bunch of spare two terabyte drives, I would have loved to put those in here instead of the one terabyte drives, but I didn't have enough matching two terabyte drives. I don't believe the drives have to match with TrueNAS. I may be wrong on that, but I just kind of felt like I'd, I'd be happier if all the drives were the same model number and size. Everything seems to be working now though, which is great. I've power cycled a few times, had to tweak a few BIOS settings. The um, BIOS was trying to boot off my RAID controller after I configured the drives, so I just had to simple fix of the boot order. I only have 8 gigs in here. I don't know if I mentioned that in the build video. I haven't really hit this too hard. I've maxed out the gigabit connection. That, well, maxed out the onboard, onboard gigabit connection. That's about it so far. Seems like it took it just fine. Didn't see any obvious bottlenecks. But, um, hopefully the cable management will be good enough. There's fans on the hard drive cages and then fans in the middle sucking all the air through. So I don't foresee having any overheating issues. But yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully this will do its purpose and it won't be too big of a headache. <laughs> it is technology after all. Hopefully I can get my other servers back up and running. They're acting up for reasons that are beyond me. Kind of had a rough luck on tech recently. But, yeah. If you um, want to see any other videos and stuff like this, let me know. I'm kind of just winging it, so quality's probably not going to be the best. Maybe I'll uh, upgrade my camera setup as things progress, if there's enough interest. But, thanks for watching.